president's plan is already in place. When he announced that plan, he told homeowners worried about foreclosure to call a hotline, 888-995-HOPE. After his announcement, we heard the hotline was overwhelmed, so we headed down to a call center to check it out. Thank you for calling 995 Hope. My name is Michelle. How can I help you? Michelle DeMaro's phone has been ringing constantly. She's a housing counselor with Nova Debt, one of six nonprofit agencies that handles calls to a national foreclosure hotline, 888 995 Hope. The hotline's been flooded with calls since President Bush mentioned it Thursday as part of a larger plan to help borrowers facing foreclosure. It has been overwhelming, but we're, we're doing it one day at a time. Uh, our counselors have been fantastic. They are working overtime. The Homeownership Preservation Foundation, which runs the hotline, says it received 15,000 calls Thursday, 10 times its usual number. Are you current on the mortgage right now? Many callers have already missed mortgage payments, making them ineligible for President Bush's plan. Others are worried that they won't be able to make the payments when their loan's interest rate resets in the next few months. The foundation offers advice and helps homeowners work with their lenders to keep their homes. Darla Keegan, a supervisor at Nova Debt, says the Bush plan won't necessarily be the new solution callers are looking for. I don't know if the Bush plan is actually opening up anything new. Um, this is something that we've just been doing for many years now. While the government tries to work out a big fix for the problem, counselors like tomorrow keep working the phones, trying to help mortgage holders deal with the situation they're in right now. Even if it's saving, you know, one person's home, you know, it means the world to them. So it, it definitely makes a difference. And see how we can assist you. All right, the Homeownership Preservation Foundation plans to have 250 counselors manning the phones by the end of the year. It says some callers have been waiting on hold longer than usual, but they urge folks who gave up before you should try again when the lines are not so busy.